brownies it's a queen bee so i wanted to do another video kind of like the one where um i introduced you guys to my little puppy molly um if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out but i am going to be doing one where i show you guys my pet snake now obviously he is not living with me he's at my mom's so i'm going to go and just take a bunch of videos and maybe dig up some old videos of him and just kind of do that so this video isn't really going to be about me more so is going to be about me showing you guys home videos and current videos of my little snake now some information just um till like, i give you guys more of a um up-to-date backstory i sprayed a bunch of perfume and now i'm dying um so no my snake he is a ball python he is a honeybee ball python and his name is herbie I named him after my late grandpa and kind of after my dad and my love for Volkswagens. Now let me explain. My grandpa was named Herbert and my dad's middle name is Herbert. So I was like, well, I don't really want to name him Herbert because that would sound a little bit weird, like me naming it directly after my grandpa and my dad. But uh, my mom was like, well, how's about you name him Herbie, like Herbie the Love Bug? which is a movie about a Volkswagen that, you know, is basically alive. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I named him Herbie after, you know, my grandpa, my dad, and my love for Volkswagens. And that is literally what I tell people when they ask me why I named him that. Um, I did have another snake before him. His name was Booper Snoot. Um, I just called him Jake just because it made it a lot simpler for everyone else that did not know his name or did not know, you know, didn't want to say his name maybe. Uh, yeah, I had an Instagram for him and everything, but he passed away. I got him from PetSmart and they don't take good care of their animals and they don't take good care of their animals and I just, it broke my heart that he had to pass away because they just, they wouldn't feed him. And they lied to us and said that he was eating really well. He was very malnourished when we got him. I did everything I could to keep him alive, um, down to like having to open his mouth and actually feed him just so he would get some nutrition. And thankfully he never threw it up or anything, but he was just very weak and it would just sit in his stomach because he literally physically couldn't do anything. And we took him to the vet multiple times and she literally said, you know, there's not much we can do because of his living situations when you guys got him. He, they, he just wasn't being taken care of the best. He was the sweetest little boy. He, um, I mean, I got to make him little hats and everything and he just like, he loved wearing little hats and, uh, yeah. So I just, it broke my heart that he had to pass away. So then a couple months after that, um, my mom was like, okay, well, I think you need to get a new pet because, um, it's just lonely now. You just, you're so sad. And instead of like burying him or cremating him or anything, we actually did wet preserve him. And, um, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It was harder than anything but basic training. I will tell you that because it was physically like, it killed me to have to like, just, yeah, the process, like, I can't. Um, yeah, but if, um, God forbid, but everyone dies, if my snake dies now, um, my little Herbie snake, I will probably wet preserve him just like I did my little booper snoot because I just, I still look at him and I'm just like, oh my God, I miss you so much. And I just, with me moving and everything, I just, um, yeah. Anyways, soap opera done. <laughs> yeah, I had another snake before him. He is my second snake and he is, um, I think a year and a half, almost two years old actually. Um, that's crazy. He's almost two years old and yeah, so it's amazing. Um, I got him from a pet shop that is the next town over, with the same town that, um, has a pet smart, actually, but he got it from a, um, actual snake breeder, so he was, like, a lot healthier. When we got him, he was, like, um, uh, maybe the length of my arm, and probably, like, that thick, maybe, like, the size of a quarter. He was, like, a baby. He is now my full wingspan and, um, thick. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe, like, 
maybe like that thick, but like he's a thick boy. He outgrew one of his little tree things and one of his logs, so we just have like a big dome in there. He doesn't like the dome for some reason, so he just sleeps besides it. Like, he just sleeps beside it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, now I will show you guys my snake, and that'll be pretty much it for this whole video. So as you guys can see, he is the sweetest little boy. I love him so much. And I mean, yeah, he is my baby. And yeah, so with all that being said, and this video is now over, uh, comment down below, do you have a pet snake? Do you like snakes? Would you ever want to have a pet snake? I have been waiting to have a pet snake since, um, I think like fifth grade. Uh, like, yeah, I've always wanted a snake and I have one and I love him so much. And yeah, so... Make sure to give this video a like if you like reptiles, snakes, whatever. Make sure to subscribe if you like me. Check out all my social medias to keep up to date with me and all my animals. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. So, with all that being said, thanks for stopping by. Love you.